Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Sapporo, so thank you so much for sending this one. This one is Sapporo, Sapporo Premium Black. So this is their take on Schwarzbier, Schwarzbier, uh, pretty much black beer in German, or dark lager. So um, yeah, let's dig into this beer. Not that many on the market. Uh, the German ones, there are a few out there, but for um, other examples, there aren't too many out there. So yeah, with that roasted malt, just creating that beautiful head on that, making it a bit of a, bit of a mess, but um, they, great information sheet here, by the way, tons of information. So uh, what do they say about it? Uh, 45 SRM, so wow, that's pitch black pretty much, what, what they're calling it. Uh, pours out, I'd say, in, in a medium brown color. And yeah, you actually, it's not, I wouldn't say it's completely pitch black. There's definitely an obvious kind of ruby hue um, on the edges, sort of, if anything, a little bit lighter than something like your Guinness. So uh, beautiful, fluffy white head on that with a beautiful mocha tan head. Okay. Yeah, get the roasted malts, a little bit of that sweetness, that uh, light kind of, it, 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 it has doesn't have the robustness, obviously, of something like Porter Stout, so it has a little bit of that kind of Guinnessy nose to it. A little bit of nuttiness, that beautiful light kind of, uh, again, it, it just reminds me of Guinness. Yeah, that beautiful creamy, light kind of uh, chocolatey you note, know, cheers. Oh, it's delicious, yeah. So up front, you're hit with that kind of, I mean, it's crazy to say, this beer is 5%, Guinness is 4.2. They're obviously very different beers, but uh, the roasted malts are really what, uh, they're low ABV uh, beers with roasted malt in them. So that's sort of like the profile that I'm getting. That light kind of, uh, yeah, chocolatey note, like char digging in there, almost like this light peanut butter, uh, roasted peanut uh, quality on there. A little bit of bitterness on the back end, rides with a little bit more roast and, and um, uh, yeah, roasted nut nuttiness. A beautiful complex kind of chocolatey wafer thing uh, in there. A little bit of a earthy bitterness. And then it's just like lightly watery on the on the middle, right? It is a 5% black lager. It's not trying to be a uh, full on stout or anything. But I will say the malt complexity sort of just like drives around while keeping this beer wonderfully drinkable. This beer is great. I mean, I just don't think there are enough uh, black lagers being produced out there. It has, it plays both games quite well, right? It has that kind of uh, roasted malt and, and little bit of uh, uh, chocolatey quality that you get from something like Guinness, but then also it's a light drinking lager. Uh, so it has that thing, that part of the palate that just sort of just washes away. It, it drives a fine line, and again, like they, they offer some pairing notes here. This would be great with um, pairing foods. They go all out over here, but I can definitely see it with burgers, small sausages, and see, eh, maybe some seafood, grilled seafood. Um, they go with okra, Brussels sprouts. They go with hearty spicy foods. They go with uh, all kinds of cuisines. So absolutely delicious. Again, just one of the underrated ones. Like Just find it on the shelf. It's like Sapporo Black. It's, it's everywhere, uh, hopefully, and you find it. And... Um, yeah, it's a crusher, and, and it actually just has a lot of character for uh, something that's you know associated with something like macro lager. Uh, this beer for me, eighty-five. I'm loving it. Eighty-five. Support premium black. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think about black lagers. I think it's just something that we don't see enough of, and support is a great example of it. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.